Oh! And with 20 seconds to spare in the night, that is Skeletron Prime taken down once again to bring you guys in for another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today, my friends. We're going to be starting off by making the Optic Staff. That is right. Do I have the ability to actually do that? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there we go. We've got the halo bars there. I believe we need the black lens, right? The black lens is part of the recipe. Do we even have the black lens? That is the question. I've got a nasty feeling we might actually not. Um, although I don't know. Maybe I just need to have a little bit of a search around. Maybe it's like hidden in one of these chests. I have no idea. It's going to be somewhere around though. Surely we have managed to obtain... One black lens in this series so far, surely. Well, guys, sadly, I don't think we have a black lens. But on the other hand, we do have the traveling merchant who... Ah... Uh who does not have the DPS meter on this very occasion. Ah, oh, man. Mm. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Uh, we're having a bit of a bad start with the old RNG so far, aren't we? You'll love to see it, don't you? Ah, jeez, dude. Well, anyways, we're looking good. Look at all the bars we have in this world. It's kind of bonkers, actually. <laughs> Fan freaking tastic. Yeah, I don't know what this freaking skeleton in the water thinks he's doing, but I'll tell you something. It ain't gonna work out for you, son. Go on, get out of here. There we go. Right, well, there's another fishing quest done. Oh, hey, is that gonna mark our 100th? If I was to have a look, way down the bottom. Oh, 97. Oh, why did I think that was higher than it was? Hmm. Anyways, uh, fishing bay. We've got some fishing potions. Okay, fairly standard stuff. So nothing too interesting. But hey-ho, it's all good. Oh, yes. You'll love to see it. Hey, look at that. We've got another wood crate as well. Let's add that to the collection. I right, thank you. <laughs> We've got a lot of stuff going on, my friends. A lot of stuff indeed. Now then, one of the things I was thinking of doing is taking down Plantera and doing that sooner rather than later because by taking down Plantera... What we can then go ahead and do is start opening up the biome chests. That is right, my friends. And because we have the corruption key, we can go ahead and get the Scourge of the Corruptor, which is kind of an amazing weapon. For those of you guys who have never used it before, it's very nice. It's very nice. Wait, there's a Plantera bulb up at the surface? What the crap? Mate, that's a bit too high up. I feel like Plantera might spawn in her enraged state if I go ahead and do that one. Huh. I mean... I don't know, man. It's like a free spawn, isn't it? It's really close to the surface. If I was to go ahead and dynamite a whole bunch of area here, we should be able to do that with absolute ease. Now, as I've mentioned, you know, time and time again, the focus of this series is fun before progression. Now, I know some of you guys might be thinking, you know, well, you only just took down all three of the mechanical bosses and now you're going to do Plantera. Surely that's rushing. Uh, it's mostly so I can get into the biome chests and see what's going on there. That is right, my friends. So don't you worry about it. I'm still not trying to rush through the series or anything like that. I just want to... I'm playing at my own pace. I'm taking it nice and easy. And guys, I think before this episode's end, I might be just about ready to maybe start on a mega build or a new build project. I mean, the beach town is done, right? I mean, why not? We should be able to do this thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, now then. Uh, Demolitionist, where are you? I think you're over here. Hello there, sir. Aha! Yes, please, sell me all the boom booms. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you love to see that. All right, so there we go. We've got all the dynamite. I think I've got myself... Uh, where are they? Where are they? So there's the, there's the lanterns. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five of those. And you know what? I'm going to bring over a bewitching table as well because that's just kind of what you do. Alrighty, guys. It is time for a little bit of a boom boom sesh. Oh, yeah. So here's one other thing that I noticed. Uh, when I come up here and actually have a look at the surface level, look at that level surface. I'm pretty sure this is the highest point in which uh, plantera bulbs can actually spawn. And as you can see, there's one right there. So that's kind of cool. So as long as we don't go above this dirt line here, uh, Plantera should not become enraged, right? That's my hopes and dreams anyway. Uh, because if uh, if I've messed this up, then uh, yeah, I've really messed it up. Because fighting Plantera enraged, even on normal mode, can be a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and continue on with the boom boom. Because that's just how we roll. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, you'd love to see that. Oh, yeah. Look at all this freaking space we have now. 
Yeah, we could like double this up and use it as a bit of a thing, right? Hello. Come on, off you go. So I'm using my mage set. I figured that uh, maybe using the Shadow Flame Hexstorm might be a good idea in terms of taking down Plantera. So we're going to give that a go. If it doesn't work, then of course we could just use something else. But honestly, I feel like the Shadow Flame Hexstorm might be the way to go because it shoots out multiple spires of damage, right? And therefore, uh, it should be able to take down uh, her different... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Her different tentacles with absolute ease. Like, there shouldn't be any issue. They really, really shouldn't. Shouldn't be in the operative word, but, you know, I have been surprised before. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyways, uh, yeah, all we've got to do is just continue digging out this room, make it look all nice, and then uh, get on with this thing. Alrighty, guys, what do you think? We've got ourselves a nice square arena. I feel like this should be big enough to uh, take down Plantera, but uh, many, many times in the past have I made a freaking arena and it not been freaking big enough. It happens all the time, especially in expert mode. Like, expert mode Plantera is, like, an incredible difficulty spike compared to the mech bosses. But anyways, uh, without further ado, I don't even have anything to freaking... Get. Yeah, that's all the buffs I have. Woo! Right, let's do this thing. Right, we need to get out of it, and we need to do a little bit of that, and then boom, and a boom, and where's the other stuffs? Oh, hello. Hi there, Mom. How are you doing there, buddy? Right, now then, let's see what the Shadow Flame Hex doll can do against Plantera. I'm hoping... I mean, it's looking good so far, right? Oh, wow, I'm, I'm uh, taking a little bit of damage, though. Got to be careful of that. The good news is her projectiles don't appear on the surface of it anyway. Don't appear to, like, bounce off of surfaces, which is okay. It's honestly kind of okay. I'm down with that. Right, now then. Uh, let's have a little bit of health right there. Come on, Hex doll. That's right. I'm taking down Plantera with a doll. Can you imagine doing that in real life? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, come on. 21,000 health is the amount we're at. I feel like my uh, my dudes are doing a fairly decent job, actually. 20,000. One third down, my friends. Two thirds to go. Come on, folks. 15k, and then we should be able to get to second stage. Although, I don't know, man. There's the spiky balls. Got to be careful of those. If I keep going in a bit of a circle, out, then I should be maybe okay. Taking a lot of damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, no, those spiky balls are going to kill me. Legit. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Yep. Oh. Wow. That was a huge blow to my confidence. Um, okay. That was legitimately a huge blow to my confidence. I felt that. Um, okay. Alright. I thought that was going to be absolutely easy as pie. I thought that was going to be an absolute cakewalk. But it wasn't. It was not. It was the furthest thing from it. Hmm. You know what I need to do? I need to go through all of my accessories here and start determining which ones I actually want to have. Like, for example, the Charm of Myths, I feel, would have really come in clutch there. So if I was to grab out a band of regen and we start doing a whole bunch of combining and various other bits and bobs, I feel like we should be able to get ourselves a slightly more decent uh, accessory set, right? So there we go. There's the old Charm of Myths. You love to see it. Uh, so how about we go ahead and get... Uh, Whoa, that is expensive as hell, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, Charmer Myths would probably replace the horseshoe balloon, maybe? Just so we can use our health potions a bit more. What else do we have? Uh, I mean, lightning boots, celestial cuffs, they all seem pretty good, to be honest. They all seem pretty good. I'd love to have a dashing ability, but we can't do that yet. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, anyways, guys, uh, like I say... Bit of a blow to the old confidence there, but I don't know. We'll have to bring ourselves back. We'll kick her butt some other time. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So the next thing I want to do in today's episode is a bit of a sort of wishy-washy, nor here, nor there episode kind of deal, really. The next thing I want to do is I actually want to cleanse a whole bunch of this crimson here. Now, we actually did ourselves a little bit of a favor before when we dug out all of these tunnels. Because they are three blocks tall, what it means is no matter what happens, the corruption, sorry, crimson will not be able to spread from below here to up top. Now, what I do want to do in the meantime is I want to go ahead and uh, maybe like siphon off or put like a brick wall here. 
because I still want to have a little bit of crimson. So we've got both crimson and corruption at the surface, but I don't want to have all of this area. Like I want to get, I want to have my desert back for crying out loud. I want my desert back, dude. I really, really do. So let's go and buy ourselves the contaminator and green solution. We've got 13, but the good news is if I was to go ahead and take down a whole bunch of like king slimes or some other crap, then we should be able to get ourselves a ton of gold and then everything should be good to go. So, I mean, to be honest, all I need to do, if I just grab out all of these, we could probably do them both at the same time, multiple times over in the jungle. Eh? I mean, why not? Let's just do it. We're gonna farm a whole bunch of bosses for gold. Ha. All right, you bunch of jokers. Come on, then. I'm ready for it all. I'm gonna kick all of your butts. Where's King Slime? Oh, there he is. Hello. 2,000 health is pretty much done. There we go. And now for this gal. Come on. Come on, gal. Come on. Come over here. You know you want to. You know you want to try and kill me. You're failing miserably. You really, really are. Uh, you're like just out of my reach though and it's getting on my nerves. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, now I get the bee's knees. Yeah. Now I get it. You freaking bunch of poo-poo faces. Ah. Hello. Come on. Let's keep it going. We just want the gold at this point, my friends. Just the gold. And come on then, folks. The final queen bee. All nine of them taken down with absolute ease. I tell you what, this uh, crystal serpent is very nice. I like it a lot, my friends. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, I do. Come on, then. Come on. Oh, I've actually run out of mana for once. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. Shows how much I'm getting hurt, huh? All right. Come on. Let's get this thing rolling. And yep, there we go. Nice and easy, even to the point there's just a whole bunch of crud here. Look at this. I can't even bolster most of this away. Even if I put down this thing and I start to try and, like, put some stuff in it, it probably won't do much. <laughs> oh, dear. So much stuff, so little time. Oh, my goodness me. Come on, then. Yep, and that's everything. Looking good. Thank you, Defender Forge. You're very useful. And, yep, we need to uh, utilize something else as well. The safe, maybe. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot you could put your Defender's Forge in that as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, nice one. All right, so we are now back to over a platinum coin, and we're pretty much going to spend all of that on green solution. Because, yes, I'm going to cleanse the world for a bit. Yes, that is what I'm going to do, because I feel like having a cleaner world will give me a, a cleaner mind. Yes, it's very therapeutic in some in some instances. <laughs> Oh, dear. Anyways, where, where did I even put everything? Oh, right, they're all inside the Defender Forge. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm being a doofus. All right, let's get our stuffs out. Let's do this thing. All right, guys, you know what time it is? It's contaminating time. Let's do this thing, my friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a large amount of world that we just went ahead and restored to its... To its former natural beauty. That is right, my friends. So, all we've got to do is keep going with this thing. We are restoring our desert. We're going to have ourselves a slight amount of meteorite in here as well, apparently. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> all right. And in the meantime, let's keep it going. Come on, fella. Come on. We're going to keep going until we've done the whole lot. That's right. That's right. That's what we're going to do. It's so weird seeing a non-crimsonified anthill kind of deal. It's so weird. It really, really is. Like, I'm so used to just seeing crimson ones. You know, the, the entrance to the underground area of the crimson biome, right? That's what I'm all about. So, yeah. Oh, dude, this is looking good. Looking mighty fine. Oh, yeah. You know, there's something really quite satisfying about doing this as well. There really, really is. Uh, and, yeah, as you can see, we do have to go through the snow biome as well. Because, of course, we do have the red ice to contend with. So... Yes, just something to bear in mind, of course. And I'm using the mini map as a little bit of a as a little bit of a representation on uh, how far that we're managing to get, I guess. So look at that. Look how much it's filling up. Fantastic. That's exactly what we're looking for, basically, guys. But let's just keep going. There we go. Yeah. Like I say, it's very satisfying. Oh yeah. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the underside and do upwards, basically. So let's do a little bit of that. And by the looks of the map, we need to do sort of another couple sweeps or something. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now we just point it up. And we try to do as much as we possibly can, I guess. There's a little bit of a black spot up here, which could potentially have red ice in. Which we should probably do a better job of getting rid of. 
There you go. Again, looking at the mini-map. You know, eagle-eyed and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, look at it. All the reds being converted to blue. You love to see it, my friends. You love to see it. Oh, mate, I'm so looking forward to this. Having a much, much larger area of normal world to work with, to build in, all that kind of stuff. It's like a fresh new canvas, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? It really, really is, actually. I find it really therapeutic and satisfying. Uh, so, yeah, let's just keep it going. Yeah. I think we're going to need ourselves a ton more freaking green solution, though. This is a much bigger area than I first initially anticipated. <laughs> so, yeah. Alrighty, but there we go. Just about made it to the other end. Yeah. Okay, so we need to try and determine how much more we have to do. We've got like this black area here. We've got a black area over here and then a black area here as well. Uh, we could probably do like a large section of this right here just by going up and down. Yeah. And we could probably do another section if we were to go ahead inside the ant hill and do from the inside. You know, get at it from the inside. Infiltrate it. That is right, my friends. We're going to infiltrate this. Yes. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're going to love to see it. It's so clean. It's so clean. It makes me want to cry, dude. It makes me want to cry just how clean it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Absolutely fan freaking fantastic. Oh, my God. There's a freaking solar eclipse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Calm, 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 calm. Nice and calm. Um, Okay. So there's me trying to clean my world, and then these guys start invading, like the butt faces that they are. Jeez, man. So I got about 50 gold from all of the stuff that I sold, so that means I've got about 200 more uh, clan terminator, uh, you know, pure solution bits. Uh, so yeah, I want to I finish this off, and then we'll go ahead and do the solo eclipse to finish off the episode, I guess. Um, so yeah, was not expecting this. <laughs> Really wasn't expecting this. Oh, God. The only thing is we need to be careful of the possessed because uh, those guys cling to the walls and they're a little bit menacing when they do. Oh, Jesus. God. All right. So let's get up here real quick. Uh, we'll continue on. I really do want to get this thing done because I feel like the longer I leave it, the more it could potentially spread, you know? So the, the quicker I get it done, the better things are going to be. So if I was to head all the way up here, for example, and then all I have to do is just... Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Fill in the black sections, my friends. Fill in the black sections, and then we're just about done. Okay, so that's that section done. We've got one more bit to do, and then we're good, and we can actually do this thing without feeling guilty or anything like that. Hello, Mr. Fritz. Oh, wait, no, this is like the... Oh, <laughs> oh I hate the possessed. The possessed are such a pain. They really, really are. Not as much as the vampires, admittedly, but they're still a pain. Let's just be frank here. They really, really are. <laughs> Anyways, come on. One final bit to do, and then we are literally done, my friends. Right, there we go. Uh, that should do it. There we go. Get it all done. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell by all of the filled in sections here, we have now officially done this entire thing. And we've even got ourselves a Neptune shell out of it, which I'm pretty happy with, actually. Hello. Go on, get freaking wrecked, you butt. Right, can the Mothron spawn in yet? Can Mothron spawn in yet? I can't remember. All right, well, anyways, let's get to the surface. And, guys, we're going to battle these fools. And I'll tell you what, while we're doing this, we're going to jump into the comment question of the video coming from Lewis Hill, who says, Would you ever do a building-focused Terraria Let's Play? I'm not sure is my genuine answer. The reason that is, is because I honestly don't really feel like the building community is, like, as big as like the rest of the Terraria community just in general, right? So as a result, I don't really feel like a building oriented series would really do that well on YouTube. I mean, I could always try it. Maybe I could do like mini series where I just try uh, to do one thing, right? I don't know, I don't know. A building series is something that I've toyed with before, like toyed with the idea, but I've always sort of shied away from doing it because I always thought it would never do really that well on YouTube. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys on the poll on screen. In fact, yeah, that's going to be my comment question of the video to you guys. Basically, vote on the poll on screen. Would a building-focused Terraria Let's Play be something you guys be interested in? In fact, it wouldn't even really be a Let's Play. 
it would just be a building focused thing while well, I just try to do building project after building project. Um, so yeah. So maybe how it works is I go ahead and I do the playthrough just sort of off camera, you know, to the point where I've completed Moon Lord and all that kind of stuff. And then I sort of bring you guys in then because then we have all of the really, really good tools that we need to do this thing, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe like I say, you guys can let me know in the poll on screen. So yeah. Ooh, I'm about to die though, so let's be careful of that. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, Mothron does spawn in. Okay, I'm, I'm glad to know that. I'm glad to know that. So we could actually start farming out, if we really wanted to, the uh, the Broken Hero Swords. That, my friends, would be amazing. Oh, yes, it would. Oh, yes, it would. Oh! Oh, I got started, man! Ooh. Dying! Dying a bunch! Me no likey! Well, the good news is they can't pick up my money and run away with it and despawn like the freaking butt faces they are. That's what normally happens. Yes, it is. It's very annoying. Yes, it is. In my opinion, on expert mode, they shouldn't be able to despawn. Oh, my God. This guy just decided to... What the hell? What the hell? That ju that's just a bunch of poo, that is. Hey, hang on a minute. Hey, hey, calm yourself. Calm yourself there, brother. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on a minute. Uh, uh, there's eggs everywhere. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. Oh, there's an eyes all down there. Okay, that's that's a little bit bad. And now we've got the freaking vampires after us. Not cool, boo-boo. Not cool. I'm gonna run out of freaking... Ah! Ah! There's too much stuff. Too much stuff going on. Hang on, hang on. Maybe... <laughs> okay, okay. Too much stuff going... God damn it, man. Jeez. Ah! No! Oh, no, I don't want to be spawning here, bro. I don't want to be spawning here. No, all this freaking thing's going on. The, the Get rid of spawn point. There we go. Holy God. That ain't cool. That ain't cool, boo-boo. That ain't cool. Not cool. Not cool. All right, let's get over here, shall we? Jesus. Oh. All right, let's keep going. Maybe, maybe, just maybe I can actually take down this thing. Oh. God damn it! Come on, stop dying, man! Eyesore! You freaking butt! Oh, okay, you're starting to get on my nerves now! Legitimately! Stop it! Stop it! Die! Damn it, die! Oh, for God's sake! This is getting annoying now! Come on! Come on! Can this be over, please? I didn't want this to happen! I didn't want this to happen! No! Stop! Oh my word, finally! Finally, there we go. We're good, my friends, we're good. Did we get anything good from that? Did we heck? Yay, Neptune Shell! Yay, Ice Spring! Yay, no weapons at all! You'll love to see it! In fact, no, I hate to see it. That's 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 the point I'm trying to make. I hate to see it. There we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after that absolutely freaking terrible unexpected solar eclipse that was a massive pain in my ass. Ugh! It is time to end the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating, hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well. If you don't want to miss out on future content, but for now, it is time for me to get a cup of tea and cry myself to sleep in a corner. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.